Hey guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I created a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a single sign-on with Dropbox in Azure AD. Before we get into things here, I just want to go over the prerequisites. Previously, you did need to have an Azure AD P1 subscription, the premium subscription, in order to add these enterprise-level applications in the Active Directory environment. Microsoft changed that recently within the past couple months here and now you are able to add unlimited SSO applications into your environments, no matter what you have as far as your base level package. The only thing here that you need for this to work in Dropbox is an advanced subscription. The basic subscription will not work because they do not allow you to configure single sign-on. So this plan is $20 a user a month, and uh, it is required for you to, to be able to set this up. So just know that. This is a view of what the end user sees, and this is the result of what we're about to do here. You can go to myapps.microsoft.com, and you'll see Dropbox for Business here. The user can then click on that, and in this particular case, I also configured it with Cloud App Security, so my session is being proxied. I can go ahead and continue here, and now I'm already into my account, and I have access to all my records. So I'll go ahead now, and we'll pop into the configuration steps. So I'm here within the 365 Admin Center. I'm signed in with Global Admin Credentials, and I'm going to go into the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. From here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Enterprise Applications on the left-hand side. And I'm going to click on New Application, and I'm going to search for Dropbox. Here I have the list of particular settings for this particular app, and I also have a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll link this below for you guys, but additionally you'll have it here as a resource if you go to create the application. So this goes ahead and adds the application here. We obviously have to do configuration in this environment and in our Dropbox environment for this to be fully set up. What I like to do here is usually just test with a pilot user so I scope this to just the pilot user pilot group before I get into the full deployment just to make sure everything's working correctly. So I'll go ahead and add a user here. And in this case, I'm just going to add myself. And this is a user that obviously has a Dropbox account and can access that environment. Okay, so that's done. Now we can go into the single sign-on method here and we'll click on SAML. So as far as these unique identifiers go, this is unique to the application. And again, your document that is linked from Microsoft there will walk you through this entire configuration. Uh, if you want it, I just want to also publish it in a video here. So we can click on edit and we're going to put in this as the identifier, the identity ID and make it the default. Then for the reply URL, we're going to copy and paste this field. This is in the documentation. I'll paste it below for you guys as well too. For the single sign-on URL, you're going to paste this prefix and then we will have a unique identifier we'll append to the end of it afterwards that is unique to your environment. So we'll click on save here. And that saves our configuration. So next thing here, we've got this set up and we're not gonna test this right now because we didn't do everything yet. So we wanna go ahead and download the base 64 cert. And then here it's going to ask you to install this AD browser extension. If it's not already installed, so you can click on this and it'll open up this in a new tab and you'll have it listed here and if you haven't already it'll ask you to install and you'll go ahead and click on add to chrome here and you can sit, click on the add extension Next here, you can go ahead and you can see in the portal, this is turned into a green checkbox and you can click on the URLs here that we'll need to put into Dropbox. 
So these you can copy or you can just keep in a, in a separate tab. But now we're gonna go ahead and log into our Dropbox account with our, our global admin or admin credentials, I should say. Here, if you're in your regular account, you'll go ahead and you'll go to the admin console. And you'll click on settings. And you'll click on single sign on. And here you'll notice I've already started to populate these fields, but for the identity provider sign in URL, you are going to copy this login URL that you see here. For the sign out URL, you are going to grab this one right here. And for the certificate, you'll upload that one that you downloaded here. And for the single sign-in URL, you're going to copy this link here. And then we'll pop back into this account. And then you'll come back up and you'll edit this field. And you'll paste in this copied field with the unique identifier appended on the back end. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Copied. That is unique to my environment here, and I can save. And that should be everything I need here. So from, from this point on, it's going to ask me again if I want to test it. But you can go ahead and, and test this connection and make sure that it's working OK. And uh, that will go through, and you can get this approved in your environment. Here, when you click on test, it will ask you to sign in with your current user here or someone else, but do ensure that this is a user that has an account within Dropbox for this to correctly configure and, and test this. And it'll give you resolution steps if it's detecting something that is off. But if you follow the steps here with me, you shouldn't have any problems. I had some on this configuration piece and this identity piece being default as Dropbox, but it told me that clearly and I was able to rectify that. But everything else is good to go here. So. That's everything I wanted to show for you guys in this video. After this is configured, users will then be able to see the Dropbox application in their My Apps portal. That's everything I wanted to show for you guys in this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks guys, have a great day.